Welcome to the ERA Europe Business Talk of the Month, featuring leading personalities of the international multi-channel home shopping industry from all over the world. Our guest today, Richard Burrell. I'm Richard Burrell. I work for QVC. I've held many posts at QVC over the years, but now I'm uh, Vice President for Corporate Development for Europe, Middle East and Africa. All the customers are very definitely not the same, although there are some similarities. And as far as how we communicate, there are two answers. One is the style of the presentation. They differ between different cultures, and we operate in cultures as different as the USA and uh, the UK versus China and Japan. And if you look at the QVCs from those countries, they look very different, but they are very clearly QVC. As to how you reach the customers, everything's changing in this industry. Um, people are consuming media in different ways. The younger generations that are coming up now are changing absolutely everything. So many, many different screens. And we now see ourselves as a, a multi-screen retailer rather than a television shopping channel. There are similarities in that we are both selling product through the medium of television, but there are huge differences in the focus of those businesses. So if I look at the infomercial companies, they focus on the transaction. They want to make as much out of that transaction as they possibly can. We want that customer to come back again and again and again and again, and therefore we want to build a relationship of trust. If you look at the DRTV companies, you will find that their repeat purchase rate on customers is very small. Whereas if you look at the European QVCs, on average, our established customers buy from us between 15 and 25 times a year. So they are a long-term relationship and that's where the money comes from. The reason that we go for live production is not vanity or some kind of uh, macho approach to the world. It is sheer economics. Because if we are live, we can react to what the audience is doing. So if we have a product that is not selling, we can change the presentation. If we have a product that is selling very, very well and is in danger of selling out, we can limit what exposure we give it. Because frankly, if we are dedicating airtime to a product that has sold out, we're wasting airtime. I often say it's the most unashamedly commercial form of television there is. And to none of this having an audience and selling advertising, we sell things. The message is that we will curate for you, we will find for you, a selection of products that we think you'll like. If you want to go and look at everything, you go to Amazon, because you can search. With QVC, we do that, some of that selection for you, and we build a relationship with that customer where they will come to us because they trust us. They will leave their credit card details with us because they trust us. And they will spend in excess of 1,000 or 2,000 euros because they trust us. And that's the mixture. So it's curating things so that they love what they find. And then it's once they've found that, they trust us with their money. We could look at Amazon and say, well, they're just a, an e-commerce site. They are nothing like what we are. We should not worry about them. That would be naive and silly because they are very big, they have enabled an enormous growth in distance selling, and they are part of the landscape of the future. Will they produce a TV channel? Well, actually, they're experimenting with it already, with their style channel, and they will invest in it, and it will be part of their evolution. But if I look at the UK, there are some 40 shopping channels. Competition's good. Competition makes you sharp. Competition makes you innovate and Amazon is a part of that.
The ERA is a snapshot of the business. You meet a lot of people here who have a different angle on things, have a different view, and therefore it's a great networking opportunity. It's a way to find out what other people are doing, to meet them, and to see where there are some collaborations to be made, or perhaps not, to disagree. But it is certainly a good talking shop, and I would actually encourage the ERA to become broader and to start bringing in some of the e-commerce players as well, and try and make people think. Because otherwise we're gonna have a lot of uh, companies that start to go into decline. Thanks for watching and see you at the ERA Europe Conference 2017 in Venice.